In this video, we're going to write a simple Python function that allows you to extract any Shopify data. We're going to utilize the admin API Python library and in particular, the RESTful resources of the API. This is going to be a short video. We're gonna start with a quick recap on how to get access to the API. Then we're gonna write the main Python function. And then we're going to see how we extract orders, products, and customers from the API. Here we are in the development store we've been using in the last few videos. To get the API key, go to apps, app and sales channel settings. Then we choose develop apps. And then we choose one of the apps that are installed, in this case, insights and we go to API credentials, and there we get the key that we need to access. All right, so let's jump over to the GitHub page for the Shopify API. So this is the Python API library that you need to access Shopify, and you, you simply install it by running pip install dash dash upgrade Shopify API, and then you're good to go. All right, let's write some code. We're going to import Shopify, we're going to import OS, then we're going to extract the API key and the merchant name from the .env file, and then we're going to activate the API session. Now to get the data, let's write a function called getData. The function takes the object name as an argument, and it's going to return a list of dictionaries. Then we're going to use Python's getAttribute method to return the value of a named attribute of the Shopify object. This attribute is what we need to extract the data. Then we're going to call find on the attribute to extract paginated data. Then we're going to loop through the data object and append all the elements to a list. And now comes the important part. This data object has an attribute called hasNextPage. And by calling that, we can ask, is there multiple pages in this data object? Is the data paginated? And we're going to put this as a condition in a while loop. And then we're going to call another attribute called next page, which is actually going to return the next page of the object. And then we loop through the data again. And we keep doing this until there are no more pages. And we can now take this get data function and call it on any of the attributes we want to to use from the Shopify object. For instance, we can get all the order data out by calling get data on order. And to get the actual data out, we choose one of the elements and we call attributes on that element. There it is, the order data. And the nice thing about this is that we have a function that we can reuse. Now we can get all the customers in the same way by calling customer. So this works really well if you don't have a lot of data in your Shopify store. If you have a lot of data, you should use the GraphQL API to curate what data you extract. And we can also fetch all the products again, in the same way, using the same function. You can fetch a lot more than customers, orders, and products. If you wanna see what you can fetch, just write dear on the Shopify object, and then you can see all the different attributes All right, that's it for now. If you want more content like this, let me know in the comments or by liking and subscribing.